fears of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption have scientists on alert over crater movement. Scientists have announced they have new information about whether the volcano beneath Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming could erupt. New research suggests that magma beneath the famed park is shifting northeast of the caldera. With its famed hot springs and spectacular geysers, Yellowstone is one of the most famous national parks in the U.S., drawing millions of visitors each year. The park's stunning scenery is created by magma that lies miles beneath the surface, part of one of the world's largest active volcanic systems. But the exact nature of this magma reservoir and its potential to erupt has remained a mystery. Scientists have now used a sophisticated technique to answer that pressing question. A volcanic eruption in Yellowstone National Park is unlikely because of the structure of the magma formation beneath it, and the focus of volcanic activity would shift northeast, the study says. Lead author Ninfa Bennington, a research geophysicist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said, there is no single area of Yellowstone that is capable of erupting. She explained that while there is a large amount of magma, it is not well connected. The study said such an upheaval would have to be much larger than what tourists are used to. Bennington said that if an eruption of rhyolite magma did occur, it would produce enough ash and lava to fill the Grand Canyon. Despite the large amount of magma, the area would remain volcanically active because the magma is stored in separate reservoirs, making it too dispersed to trigger a volcanic eruption in our lifetime. Beneath Yellowstone Park, there are two different types of magma. The first is basaltic magma which is responsible for most of the volcanic activity on Earth. Because this magma has less resistance to flow, it is more likely to erupt. However, beneath Yellowstone, this type of magma is dense and embedded deep in the Earth's crust, making it unlikely to erupt. The second type, rhyolite magma, is thicker and has greater resistance to flow. At Yellowstone, basaltic magma heats the surrounding rock, helping to create rhyolite magma in the upper crust. But a volcanic eruption caused by the volcano's formation is still unlikely. If it did erupt, it would be highly explosive and produce huge amounts of ash. Other scientists agree with the findings. Yellowstone is not going to erupt at all, said Eric Clemetti Gonzalez, an associate professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences at Denison University who was not involved in the study. There will be an eruption, but it will probably be thousands of years before we can expect one. Michael Manga, a professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences at the University of California at Berkeley, who was not involved in the study, said, Reaching definitive conclusions about Yellowstone is challenging and that there simply aren't enough volcanic eruptions there to provide conclusive results. Still, Manga praised his colleagues' efforts. They've put together a really compelling story 
about what's going on underground and the relationship between past and future volcanic activity. The study's findings suggest a shift in volcanic activity, which is thought to occur as the North American plate continues to move west-southwestward over a volcanic hotspot beneath it.